The Midas List ranks the world's top venture capitalists based off their portfolio of startup investments. That includes realized actual returns, so companies that have gone public or been acquired by other companies, or companies that have raised at a much higher valuation than when the investor first backed the company. Covering venture capital is, is cool because it's kind of like a cheat sheet to what companies are becoming big and important within technology. The companies that are driving people onto the Midas list because they have you know, a high value for their portfolio are also becoming you know, big, important companies, whether it's Snapchat, it's Uber back in the day, or more recently, Coinbase or Airbnb or in China, Meichuan or ByteDance. For a long time, we had the same couple people at the top of the Midas list, but in the last couple years, we've seen more movement at the top. This year, we had a new number one and number two that were reflecting trends and changes within the tech landscape as well. So at number one, we had Chris Dixon. He's a general partner at Andreessen Horowitz, and he runs their crypto fund, A16Z Crypto. It was really fun to write about Chris and go deep into his story because he's a two-time entrepreneur who was originally based in New York. Then he moved out west and he became a VC looking to spot the next big thing, you know, moonshots like drones or 3D printing or artificial intelligence. In the end, he settled on crypto, and he was an early investor in Coinbase, Ripple, and a few others. The Coinbase investment was one of his big Midas drivers, but he's also in a bunch of really interesting companies today. Whether it's Dapper Labs, the maker of NFTs for the NBA, NBA Top Shot, or DYDX, a decentralized exchange. And Chris has really become you know, this elder statesman in the crypto community as a longtime venture capitalist and entrepreneur who's also blogged and showed a lot of credibility and thought leadership in the space over a long period. Over the years, we do see trends of companies coming and going and having a huge impact on the list. Early in my career, that was Facebook, which put investors on the list for many years. Then you had Uber, and, and now more recently, we've seen Airbnb, DoorDash, and some of these consumer internet companies really driving the list. Even while it's still private, ByteDance in China is another really big driver here. And then of course, crypto and fintech are so important these days, and we really have seen their investors shine. We had 12 investors from Coinbase on the Midas list, third of any company after Stripe and Airbnb. And then we also had number two on the list, Mickey Malka, a Venezuelan-born investor who was both in Coinbase and in Nubank. So he's straddling the world of crypto and fintech, which is how he did so well on this year's list. There are 11 women on this year's Midas list, one fewer than last year's record-tying 12. We have seen that number creep up over the years that I've been doing Midas, but it is a stark reminder of the need for improvement across the venture capital industry. One cool thing that we saw this year with the Midas list was a record representation from Europe, Israel, and the Middle East. We had 12 investors from those regions on the list this year. That's up 50% from eight last year, and it's a record for the Midas list. Whether it's Adyen in the Netherlands, or it's Revolut based in London, or Checkout.com, and then you have Klarna and other breakout companies in the Nordics. These companies are suddenly valued in the tens of billions. Another cool thing about this year's Midas list is that we decided to expand it, one of the few expansions we've done in 21 years, to include a new list called the Midas Seed. The Midas Seed is a list of the top 25 seed stage only investors. So these are early stage specialists who tend to write smaller checks into companies when they are really small, sometimes even just an idea. So sometimes those investors haven't always been recognized by the Midas model because the Midas list looks at venture capital across every stage and size. We thought that it would be exciting this year to have a list of just 25 seed investors using the similar data that we're getting from the Midas list, but changing the criteria a little bit to better reflect the check sizes they're writing. The ultimate result was a list of both Midas stalwarts and exciting newcomers. Some under the radar VCs who have really built a good track record, others up and comers like Nick Tomeno at One Confirmation, who's a crypto specialist. The nice thing about the Midas list is that we've been doing it for 21 years. And so we have a pretty impressive database of information that we've collected with our longtime data partner, Truebridge Capital Partners. And to this day, we still have firms more every year, dozens of firms submit their data confidentially. We don't use the data to report without re-reporting it, but it's very important to go down to this partner level detail to really understand what the real results are here. You know, the Midas list is not just a popularity contest. Then we do, of course, look at publicly available data sets for people who don't want to submit for the list. So overall, we have visibility into hundreds, if not thousands of partners across dozens of VC firms, and this data goes back many years. And we like to think that this is the most data-driven list of any in its kind.